This is our first LM100J for the commercial world. It first flew the end of May. We flew four flights in two days, checked it out, uh, kind of fixed it up with some trim, and we flew it uh, in two flights over here for the Paris Air Show. Well, this airplane pretty much brings in all of the advances that we've made over the years for the C-130, and uh, it includes the latest avionics requirements, fully CNS ATM compatible, uh, capable for everything we can foresee, flying any airspace, RNAV, uh, L GPS, LPV minimum approaches, civil data link. We flew this across the ocean, first C-130 to use CPDLC. Uh, we're FANS 1A compliant, so we're right on the very edge of, uh, of, uh, of all the uh, avionics requirements. Although it's uh, civilian painted, it's, uh, it's almost identical to a, a military C-130. Well, it turns out that there's a lot of civilian uh, uh, operations that need the same kind of capability that's really unique to the C-130J. We're kind of a big powered glider. Uh, we take off, if you think about gliders, in very short distances. Once we're in the air, the, the long straight wing requires very little, uh, produces very little drag, a lot of lift, it takes lo very little fuel to keep it in the air, so we have very, very long endurance, and, uh, and we come back and land on a short field. So that combination, and then the maneuverability as well, you know, the fact that you can turn without making much drag, like a glider, um, those capabilities actually are, are really good in the civilian world as well. And what's next in the development phase? Uh, well, basic Part 25 certification on this airplane now, uh, there are a lot of missions that customers will want to uh, do, including airdrop, and that'll be certified uh, in the future. Uh, and so there'll be a lot of mission capability for the civilians that will grow over time. So the C-130 uh, multi-role capability, it will cross over to the civilian market? Exactly. The reason this airplane's been in service for so long is it's, it's very fuel efficient across a broad range of airspeeds and altitudes so that it has a lot of capability, including that long endurance capability and the short field work. And we believe our civilian customers are going to want the same thing. One of the areas we know uh, we're going to develop very soon for civilians, basically the military already, is the firefighting mission. And uh, we know that there's, there's a big market for that. It's probably the safest and most effective airplane for firefighting because it can get down into some very you know, steep ravines and, and, and the tight turn radius, which is better than any airplane, they can get, get out and climb out uh, safely. And, and uh, we think that's one of the very strong missions that are coming.